what's up youtube we're back with another video um i just dropped another video i should have just dropped my, like i don't know i think y'all don't know what the name is because i'm literally shooting this like literally next day um today i'm leaving to go to the airport but before i went to the airport i wanted to stop at the gun range because i wanted to have a little fun before i left because me and my boyfriend need to hang out before i leave to go out of town so we decided we was gonna come to the gun range today especially because i came to the gun range like a while ago and i recorded it but all my footage got lost so i wanted to come and redo it and show y'all what we do but i haven't been to this gun range before so i don't know if they're gonna let me bring my camera in so i'm not gonna record like me walking in but i wanted to stay in the car and tell y'all what i was doing before i go in there we're finna go to the gun range. We finna, uh, you know what I'm saying? Finna pop some, finna. I, did, I, I actually do a really good job in here. Like, I feel like I have pretty good aim. So, I want y'all to hold me to that. And I want y'all to see, like, you know, what I'm talking about. And, yeah, because don't play with me. Like, run up and get done up. Like, for real, for real. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go in here, but I wanted to tell you guys what I was doing before I went ahead and got this vlog started. Welcome back to my channel if you are new. Um, I, you're gonna love it here. I'm telling you now, you're gonna love it here. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't, wait until the end and still like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are gonna love it here. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the video because I'm pretty sure we're gonna do some dope bomb stuff. Like, I'm trying to make like the best, slightest content. Um, yeah. Oh, and you guys have probably noticed one more thing before I go in. You guys have probably noticed that I have changed my name. I have changed my whole persona into like Mercy Miyagi. And I really just love it. Like I don't I just want like going into the new year. Like I wanna be like a whole new woman. Like I wanna still be like me, like at heart, but like it's just new things. Like I'm trying to like let go of the old, like let go of my past and become the new me. Like step into my new future. Like step into this growth and this beautiful woman that I'm coming into. Like coming into be or I'm coming into. I don't know. I'm sorry. My my grammar is terrible. But coming into it, like, I just want to step into like a new chapter in my life. So I'm going by Mercy Miyagi now. Um, I just think it's really cute. Um, and yeah, and it just describes me. I feel like. Um, but yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all when we get in there. So yeah. They gave us glasses and these little, they call them ears. So we gotta put these on before we go in there. I didn't have to get no glasses because I got glasses on. I don't wanna mess my hair up. Jeez, he's hard to do.
Yeah. It's my nails. I'm about to get up out of here. I just got. Okay, it. I mean, I, you can extend it if you want, but it's you just the member can stand in a, a second shot. Really, or something. Like that. I don't know what the deal is there. Oh, yeah. so I'm about I to wasn't here. We're about to leave. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and like i miss my artwork like i have to show y'all like a plan before i leave is to put all my artwork up because it's been um my mom has lived in this house for like a year now and i still haven't um put up none of my artwork because i thought that i wasn't gonna like it no more but i've actually thought about it and gave it deep thought and i think i'm gonna hang it back up because i did a really good job of doing it like i did a great job of doing it i'm trying to think we don't really have much of a plan for today but today i think i'm gonna go with my grandma i have to help her no she wanted to go get christmas gifts today so i'm gonna go take my granny to go help her get christmas gifts today um and hang out with her for a little bit but i'm probably not gonna record just because i don't really want you guys to see my granny so but i'm gonna talk to you right now and get ready and stuff for the day so that i at least talk to y'all and close out this vlog because i'm gonna start a new vlog today so um yeah. I also want to say I look very crusty right now. Like, please excuse me. Like, I don't have no chapstick on my lips. Like, nothing. I need to wash my face. But like, I literally just got up. So please, please bear with me. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys after like I wash my face and stuff. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys like what I got from the mall because i didn't show you guys yesterday so i'm just going to show you guys like a little mini haul or is it it's kind of a mini haul but it's kind of like a medium haul because i got enough like i got a decent amount of stuff like it's not like a whole lot but i got a decent amount of stuff that i can show you guys so yeah but y'all can y'all see this camera quality though like be for real like this camera quality like it's easy like like, let me zoom in for y'all right quick like let me zoom in but not too much because my i know i, I know i'm crusty right now it's the morning but like literally like you can still see me uh -oh. hold on my brother calling me hello okay my bad y'all but yeah um we're gonna go wash our face and brush our teeth because like why you didn't brush your teeth before you got to talk it but it's okay guys i'm gonna go do it now so let's go to the bathroom okay y'all like i literally look so raggedy right now so like the fact that i'm actually looking raggedy on this camera is really eating me up inside because oh my goodness but i'm just gonna wash my face and it's very sensitive so i put vaseline on it so it can like hold moisture and i wash my face in cold water so yeah that because that makes all the difference i feel like washing your face in cold water makes all the difference because it's like it i think my makeup artist told me that when she was doing that look she was doing like some little ice rolly thing on my face and she was like the cold like helps like i guess close the pores or something or like make them i don't know it's just supposed to help your skin look good so all i know is that wash your face in cold water and not hot because hot water strips your face anyways because it's hot water it takes all the oils out your face so Cold water like helps with moisture, so I can't say that. I know that part, at least. It's not wastewater. Me personally, I don't like to like immediately like I don't like to wipe my face off. I like to let my face look like just like be wet for a little bit. I like to let my face just like be wet a little bit because I feel like that's what the moisture come in at. But then again, like this just something I just tell myself. Like it probably I could probably be dead wrong, but I feel like this helps me and my skin. So I just leave it on her for a little bit, kind of like let it air dry or push come to shove. Like if I'm in a rush and I got somewhere to be, I'll take a paper towel and then I'll just like dab my face. But I'm gonna brush my teeth and if my face is still wet after I brush my teeth, then um. Then I'll do it, but yeah. I can't wait for the new year, y'all. Like, I feel like I need a reset, like a complete reset on my life. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just felt like coming towards the end of the year, like I really just felt like, dang, like, I feel like honestly, like I feel like I didn't really get as much as I wanted to get done this year. Like I really had but I can't say this. Like I, I can't just like put myself down and be like, I didn't do a lot. I didn't do like so much or I didn't do this. Because I actually accomplished a lot that I wasn't that wasn't even on my plan to like accomplish like in, in this previous year. So it's like 
it's better it's a bittersweet moment because like the things that i had planned for myself didn't go as planned but i feel like god just put certain things in my way that's like making sense now like this was actually supposed to happen like the plan that i had for myself wasn't the plan that he needed me to go needed me to go off of or needed me to like pursue so i feel like i'm glad he did that you know but it definitely was taking a toll on me because i was like dang like i didn't do nothing i was supposed to do this year and then but now i'm starting to see like it was a reason for that you know so i feel like if you ever like have them thoughts like you not you're not really where you at where you want to be in your life or like i'll say you're not really you're not really happy of what you've like accomplished or done or or you feel like you're you didn't do enough like if you always feel like you didn't do enough just look back and think about like what you have done because nine times out of ten like you probably did a lot that you didn't realize that you did so you have to give yourself grace but i'm gonna brush my teeth so okay let's go back to the one thing i don't need nothing else Okay, so now that I've finished washing my face and brushing my teeth, I can show y'all what I got the other day. So I really just got like a big old bag of stuff. I got like a big bag of stuff. So we're just gonna go down the line of like I'm just gonna pull stuff out the bag. But I'm just gonna grab everything because I already got I already got all the clothes um and stuff that I need to show y'all like in the bag. Oh, okay, and this is something that's not, like, um, clothes, but I found some Ramune in the mall, and if you guys watched my, um, what is it, I think it was a day in the life with me, and we went and tried ramen, and they had Ramune, and it was so good, so when I see it, I grab some, but I'll probably drink some, like, later, or whatever, I'll make sure to record it whenever I drink it, because I know how to use the bottle now, so I'm going to show you guys. But I just wanted to include that um, because I got that at the mall. But it's in the refrigerator. So to start, I got this Dennis Rodman shirt from PacSun. I thought it was really cute. Plus, I don't know why. I don't really watch sports like that. But I like Dennis Rodman because he always was like, he stood out in the NBA. So I thought with him, you know. And I always liked his hair. Like his hair was always cool in, in basketball. So. Then... I got, I got this shirt from Erie, I think, yeah, I believe it's Erie, I think it's Erie, let's see, look girl, you literally got it in your hand, Erie, but yeah, I got this, cause I like like looking, I just like being chill, like, I like dressing chill, I got these socks from Pink, I thought they were cute. They're just regular black and white socks. Shirt from pink. It's like a little, just like basic little crop top. This one in brown. I got the other one in red. I just thought they were really cute. And they're like, they're really like soft. Like, I don't know if y'all can like see the texture, but they're really soft. They're very stretchy. And I tried it on like they, I really like this. It, it gives skims for real. And then I got a bunch of underwear. Let's see. I got me. Okay, so last year I was seeing on TikTok. Everybody talking about New Year's. You're supposed to wear a red underwear. And you're supposed to. It's supposed to do something. I don't remember what it said it's supposed to do. But I'm going to look it up. Actually, let me do it right now. So I can just tell you. I seen it on TikTok. And it was like you're supposed to wear red underwear on New Year's. So I went and got me a pair of red underwear. Because I'm going to wear these on New Year's. Let's look it up and see what it do. Yes, you heard that right. I don't know about Shaw, but every New Year's, my human mother was like, you need to wear red underwear so you can find yourself a man. That being said, in superstition, different underwear colors means different things. So let's talk about those. Let's start with the obvious. Wear red underwear if you want your passion and your romance. Passion and romance. Wear pink underwear if you want luck in finding new love. Blue underwear if you want a year of good health. Green if you want a year of better luck than the previous year. Yellow for positive energy and good fortune. Orange underwear for professional success. And lastly, white underwear for a year of peace, joy, and happiness. Good luck and happy new year. Let's talk about- Alright, I might wear yellow underwear then, because I don't need to wear red. I might wear yellow. But the red ones is really cute, that's why I got them. But I might wear yellow then, because I need that. 
So then, um, I also got some more stuff from PacSun. I got these sweatpants. They're like Barbie sweatpants. And then, let me say something Barbie right now. I got these sweatpants. They're like baggy, like oversized. Because this is an extra small and they still look big. But I didn't try it on because they fit in room so it's open. And then I got the shirt to go with it. Let's see, where's the shirt? Here's the shirt. And then I thought it would be really cute if I wore that, this like the sweatpants and the shirt. But then I put this up under it. So I got this. I got this. So I got this lace to go under it. Like this shirt. Like I feel like the sleeves will look really good with that, you know? So yeah, I got that. Why is my eyes itching? Mom said she wanted a sports bra. So I got her this sports bra. I thought it was cute. And then I got me one, but I got it in red. Oh, uh, and let me show y'all my favorite piece. Not this one, but this is the one in red. This one for me. But I literally got these uh, leggings from Pink. They're so cute, y'all. Like, so cute. They're flare. Like, they're the flare, like, fold-over type leggings. Like, like rich mama the rich mama leggings these are so cute and then they say pink and look like the like little stones or whatever this is so cute like i can't wait to put these on with a crop top in the summertime they big body gonna be body in shape gonna be shaping and these like these like i can't wait to put these on like these are so cute but yeah i think that's all i got yesterday yeah, I need to too much. I still gotta go shopping. I'm gonna go to Ulta because I get a discount at Ulta. Um, so I can get everybody's like really everybody's getting a Christmas present from Ulta, if I'm being honest with you, because I get a discount at Ulta, so it's like, mm hmm why not why not use that discount? And get everybody like I feel like if I get everybody stuff from Ulta, like they can get skincare because everybody be getting gifts, but y'all really need to be taking care of that skin. Stay moisturized the one time. Or maybe get them like some like makeup or something. I don't know. I don't know. And um, I can tell in this. So I'm going to tell y'all if one of y'all know this. Because y'all probably like, why her lips turning red? I just used um, a lip plumper. It's from Polite Society. I really like it. I'm going to show y'all. Because I couldn't find my chapstick. So I just put this on. Because I didn't want to put on, like, my lip liner because I have a liquid lip liner. But I was like, I feel like that's doing too much for in the morning. So, I didn't do that. But I used this. Polite Society. To me, it works really good. Like, I really like this. And I will say it burns. But my lips definitely get, like, really big. Like, like really big. Like, like really big. Like, y'all can see, like. But, yeah. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, I didn't really get too too much, but I wanted to at least show y'all like what I got. And I also want to go thrifting while I'm up here. I hope I can find time to go thrifting because every time I go thrifting up here instead of in Nashville, like, I literally get some good stuff. Like I got these here because I'm folding clothes up right now. But I got these last year. No, probably like two years ago when I came. I got these for eight dollars at the thrift store. Like eight dollars, and they got the crystals on them. I'm like. Baby, he was coming home with me. He was coming home with me. Like, these are so cute. Like, True Religions cost, like, what? I don't even know how much True Religions cost. I know they cost a lot, though. So, that's why I was like, when I seen them in there for $8, I grabbed them. Oh, and I'm not even, I'm missing something. Actually, I got, okay, so the shirt that I got on, I bought yesterday. And then, I also got this shirt. I got it in um this brown. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got from the mall yesterday. But I really just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what I got because I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all what I got and didn't tell y'all. So yeah. Um, I'm actually um, I'm supposed to be waiting on the people to come fix the Wi-Fi at the house. So that's really why I'm trying to like stay up and stay busy 
um, instead of going back to sleep because I really wanted to go back to sleep, but I'm not going to. Because another thing this year, oh my goodness, no. Okay, I'm going to make a video literally dedicated to like things that I want to do in the new year and like steps I feel like we should all take of like going into the new year. So I think I'm just going to make like a new year's vlog. Like it is. So stay tuned because that's going to be so fun because I literally want to tell y'all so much about like stuff that I want to do for the new year or like basically like my goals and my plans for the new year's i can't say it all of them because i don't want to jinx nothing but i basically just want to show y'all like how y'all should plan y'all new year's or like what good habits you should develop in the new year if that makes sense so yeah stay tuned for that video that's gonna be so good oh my goodness i'm that's probably gonna be my favorite video like i'm so excited already but i'm right now i'm just gonna get on my laptop i'm probably gonna go downstairs to my desk and get in my office and um edit because i haven't even touched the vlog uh i haven't even touched the vlog from um when we was at the airport so i'm gonna go ahead and drop that i'm gonna try to get that done today or tomorrow really i'm gonna start on it today hopefully it's done by today or tomorrow um and yeah because i need to hurry up and drop that for y'all because i want to have like back-to-back -back videos um or at least try to drop like two this two to two a week or like I don't know, like, I just want to make stuff to where I know I can produce content out to y'all and probably try not to, like, overwork myself and, like, mass produce something. And then it's like, I don't like it because I feel like when I record stuff, like, I clip so much stuff out because I don't like it. Or I feel like I be rambling and be talking about nonsense. So it's like, I'll cut and chop everything out and it seems like I don't be talking because, or not, not because, but it just seems like I don't talk as much because I be like, y'all don't want to hear me talk about this or... Y'all don't want to know what I'm going through right now, so I just don't, I don't put it in there. But I've had a few people tell me, like, that watch my videos, they be like, you don't talk, like, you be quiet, like, you need to talk more. So, I'm trying to talk more, so that's why I'm sitting right here, literally talking to y'all right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, my plans for this week, I'm just gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell you guys. My plans before I leave to uh, come back to Nashville, I'm definitely gonna try to get y'all a New Year's vlog, um to plan out the year like how to plan out your year or basically like what i what i have planned for my year and um that's that's the main that's the, that's my main focus right now is to get y'all like a new year's vlog because y'all need to y'all really need to be like planning stuff and making a vision board because to me i feel like a vision board is very essential it's very crucial to like how your year goes because when you see something you're more likely to do it and get it accomplished because when you just be in your head and be like oh i'm gonna do this or I want to do this and keep saying like, I want to do this or I had this idea and you don't put that pen to paper or you don't put no action to that plan that you're talking about, you're not going to do it. It's just going to stay a thought. It's going to stay a thought in your head. So to me personally, I feel like making a vision board is very essential for your new year. So we're going to have a vision board party. Super excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to plan that now, but I'm also going to be trying to edit. So yeah that's gonna be the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much stay tuned for our next video uh, i'm working hard i'm working overtime to get this stuff to out to y'all um i'm learning how to edit on my macbook because i usually edit on my ipad but i'm trying to figure out how to do stuff on my laptop but it's just really hard so i might edit this first video on my um ipad so i can go ahead and get that out to y'all and then practice on my um, macbook because I don't know how people edit it on this thing, but this thing is hard. But anyways, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, and I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.